So here we are, right where we left off. Now, I'm sure you all know what's about to happen. I mean, you did watch the first part of this story, right? This story is some long overdue revenge on some oil rig running, roof camping, 12 plus man roaming, offline, ra I'm, I'm sorry, double offline raiding sack of shits. Let me introduce you to the Koreans. But before we get too far into it, let's explain to the new viewers who didn't watch the first part of the story where this all began. It was a sunny Thursday morning forswipe. No BPs, no bases. There were four main characters to this story. Frost, Sergeant Major Deal, Brando, and Poison Picker. But to start, it was only Brando and I. We had plans to build in the center of the map initially, but you all know how that goes. Plans change. After securing this insane spot, we went to go get some scrap and check out the map. And it was during this that we found out about our enemies. Introduce 12 plus man group, also known as the Koreans. And they had their top four, just like we had ours. Mang Meng, Gongza, Jatek, and Taiki. Within an hour of force wipe, they had an AK which they made sure to use to their advantage. We spent the whole first day fighting between our two bases and we actually made quite the profit. But we also made quite the enemy. I'll be late to you, okay? The first night on the server, force wipe keep in mind, we were offline raided through 12 garage doors. They took everything, but that didn't stop us. We rebuilt the second day and fortified our base to brand new. The only bummer is, overnight, the Korean squad quadrupled the size of their base. With their base being that big, you'd think we would've ran into them roaming, but all they did was run oil in a roof camp. They only took one fight right outside their base, and when we did fight them that one time, I clobbered them. But they continued to send reinforcements after reinforcements. After being defeated, we looked for another way to get at them. They had numbers and fights, their base was way too fortified to get into, and the only place we could catch them was on their way to or from oil rig. So we built two towers on their path to oil rig, one to shoot at them from and the other with a SAM site. We rigged the SAM site up to a switch, and whenever they flew back from oil to their base, we'd blow them out of the sky. But sadly, they never came. At least that night they didn't. So we finally decided to go to bed and get just a little bit of rest. Now by this time, it was 4.45 in the morning. Saturday morning. I had just got off and I was laying in bed, playing on my mobile device, one of the best shooter games of 2020, Frag Pro Shooter. With over 50 million players total, and over a million playing each day, I was dominating the leaderboards. The game is simple. It's either a 1v1 or a 2v2 with a friend. You man every single player on your team. When you die, you switch to the next player. You battle it out with your main goal being to take out the enemy's tower. But first, you gotta take out their bunkers. The games are short and quick and actually very fun. And if you use the link in the description, there's a bunch of rewards that you can get, even if you've already downloaded the game before. As you can see, I dominated. And I always like to end on a win. So, I was about to get off on this note, and actually go to bed, but then I heard it. Footsteps through my headphones. Even worse, the sound of C4. We are getting raided right now.
You can't grab a garage door with the. I need a hammer. No! I saw the fucking light! Oh my. <sighs> I wish I even got to put up that much of a fight. But that was only something I could have dreamed of. So, what really happened that night? We did get raided by the Koreans, but I didn't log on. I slept through it, all of it, and this time, they made sure to grief everything and leave no chance for us to come back. I logged on a few hours later with Sergeant, and our base had already decayed so much, meaning that they raided us right after I got off. It's like they were waiting. So it is the same group, why would they raid to the other side? I guess just to fucking... I got in through the back. Somebody else was in here. This twig wasn't here earlier. Yeah, someone's in there right now. They just placed like something. There's Terry. There's a dead guy. Hey, he's right here. Two guys. Monkey balls and Pluto. Oh. Hey. Up, man? Hey, we hey. got raided, man. Wait, yeah, I don't, yeah. We're, we're just exploring this shit. Yeah, we're just kind of vibing in here. <laughs> Already, our base had been taken over by some rats, but we still had a few cards up our sleeves. Our small SAM site base that we built yesterday was surprisingly unrated, and it was still completely loaded with missiles. It also had everything we needed to start building our base back. As we farmed though, we started to realize what was even the point anymore. I mean, their base had only gotten even bigger and now we were set back even farther. But regardless of that, for some reason, we continued to play and continued to farm. We got TC from our main cave base again, and we took the garage doors and ladder hatches off and started to fortify. Not a single thing in there. We packed up everything and we officially moved out from the cave base. Finally. Oh, and one more thing. We still had our tier three. Boom, let's go. After that, Poison and Brando got on and we all contributed to farming up for the new base. And Poison and Brando also went out to Oil Rig to go take it, and during that time, they actually managed to get us an AK. Don't ask me how, I'm just as surprised as you are. They had to spend an hour and a half fishing it out from the bottom of the sea, but they did actually get it, and they brought it back to base for us to research. And with all the supplies we gathered, we could craft one. So, that's what we did. <laughs> After being offline raided twice, we really didn't care what we lost at this point. We were just trying to make some sort of magical play. I mean, we had to bring the fight to the Koreans anyway. They weren't leaving their base. <gasps> wait, 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 Tur turn on the thing. Wait, wait, fuck, fuck, fuck. I killed myself, I killed oh, myself. Go on. Should we feel like coming back or do, just do it now? No. It's on, I turned it on. Wait. Here they come. They're not no, quite close enough. They missed it. They missed it. They didn't fly close enough. we'll get them on the way back. On the way back, yeah. We just missed the Koreans with our SAM site. But when they go to oil, they come back from oil. Damn. Okay, they just went and did it. We need a uh, wood, though. A lot of wood. Let me go get a hatch off our site. I think we needed like 6k, so we'll all need a farm soon. The same plan as last time, but this time we had a SAM site to close the gap.
Hold me. <laughs> Here's the deal. Is I think that one of you should go down there and be by her base. Because if that thing goes down, they might have bags like in that area already. I can do it. So, one of you should go down um, there and just be like at our base area. Scared by all the thing. Kind of. Uh. How long is that thing? 15 fucking minutes? Yep. Pretty sure night's 15 minutes, so they. By the time it becomes the morning, then they should be coming back. As the night progressed, the crate was never taken. Chinook wasn't even called. We should see the crate disappear. Yep. Any second now. Another heli behind us. South. What if they died? <gasps> They're coming over. All the way though. Crouch here. Two. Look, hazmat. No, it's just one. Is it naked? Oh, it's just one, yeah. Flying back. We assumed we had just been seen, but we still didn't want to give away our position shooting at a naked in a minicopter. Oh, it just, it just disappeared. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, here they come, here they come. They're coming right toward it. I see it, I see it. They're coming right low, too. This is perfect. One's higher, one's higher. One behind it. I'm gonna go down, because we're not gonna be able to do anything. One's fine, dude. There it goes. Shooting. It's getting shot. It's getting shot. Hit him. Hit him three times. They're going, down, they're going, down, they're going down. down. They're going down. Yeah, the one's going over. Is he going to shoot that one too? And they saved it. Bro, they they all survived. He yeah. just fucking got hit four times and he didn't die. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? What just happened? We just spent 750 scrap and all that time setting up a trap that didn't even blow up the heli, let alone kill the guy flying it? Something was up. He should have died. Men just took four SAM sight rockets and didn't die, dude. What? Uh, alrighty then. Well, that's very, very uh, cool. That was totally worth the, the scrap and all the time we put into it. Sam side trap. <laughs> that was so stupid. So how did he survive four direct Sam site missiles? I was genuinely curious. We all ran to the airfield tower that overlooked their base and we just sat there and stared in awe and disbelief as to what just happened and how all of our hard work was just for nothing. It didn't make sense. I didn't see anything moving down there. But as I studied the base, I realized what I had overlooked. What I thought was a hemp base to farm scrap all along wasn't just a hemp base. There was something else brewing inside that building. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it's the reason they survived all those SAM site rockets. There it is, a whole shitload of berry bushes. Why exactly? Well, let me explain it to you. When you're a 12-man Korean Zerg that almost gets bested by one guy on the coast and you have to bring 10 guys of reinforcements, you also want to make sure that that doesn't happen again for you or your team. So you want to boost up your health a little bit. You take three of these red berry bushes and one yellow berry and you can combine them to make a basic max health tea. You take four of those max health teas and you combine those to make one advanced max health tea. You take four of those max health teas and you combine them again to make you one pure max health tea that lasts you 20 minutes of 120 health versus the average 100 health. 
I would assume that they take these every single time before they probably take oil, considering that's all they do. Meaning, on his return home, he was boosted out of his fucking mind. So, uh, yeah, that was enough for me for the day. As a matter of fact, that was enough for me for the wipe. I gave up on the Koreans. Like, I actually just wanted to get off, because we tried, and you can't say we didn't. As a matter of fact, we tried a shit ton, and we just got stomped into the ground by their numbers and their offline rating over and over and over. I wasn't even disappointed. I just realized that this wasn't a group that I could possibly get a story out of because their methods were just beyond that. So that was the end of the story. That was the video that I was going to put out for you guys. <laughs> like 100% honest truth. I got on two days later and I was going to get the server seed so I could start recording cinematics and show you guys how tough of a wipe we had. But. It was when I logged back on two days later that something in chat sparked my interest and I decided to do something that I had never done before because, I mean, the fire for revenge against these Koreans was still burning inside of me. So let's fast forward a few days to the moment I rejoined the server to check on their base and get the server seat. Upon my return to the server, the population had been cut in half over the past two days. What used to be a 200 plus pop server was now around 85 to 110 players. And when I checked the map, it seemed that the cranes were still functioning. Korea number one. Easy server. Flexing 30 AKs. <laughs> Huh, interesting. Well, I guess they're right. Easy server. Now, here's where the chat dialogue gets a little bit interesting. Gongzo was actually typing in chat, the guys who raided us, these Koreans. But that wasn't what caught my attention. What caught my attention was this message. DDB, the Y12 guys are just big shit talkers, LMAO. They can't online worth shit. <laughs> you got that right. The Y12 guys were the Koreans, and it seemed like we weren't the only ones they had been offlining throughout the wipe. This DDB group then agreed with them, saying, I know, they have offlined every person on the server. They are killing the pop. And then after that, Gongs then typed, so DDB, come raid? Question mark? And that was it. That's when I realized that this DDB group could be the numbers that we needed. I mean, we were two groups with a common enemy, so why not try to come together and take them out with everything and anything that we could muster up? I mean, it was a long shot, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So without hesitation, I reached out to Wesky typing in chat, and he responded quickly. I was just going to tell him straight up what my intentions were, and there was no going to be hiding my identity as Frost either, because we were going to be talking in Discord if this was to go through, and I didn't want to waste any time. This story wasn't about an unlikely ally, it was about revenge. And he was nice enough to give me his Discord right away, so I reached out to him. I explained to him quickly the encounters and experiences we had with the Koreans this wipe, and that I would be willing to offer myself and my group as extras and to help with any farming needed if he wanted to group up and possibly try to online rate them. Now I'll be honest, it took him a minute to answer, and I think it's because he had to make sure it was the real Frost and not someone who was about to scam him from all of his rockets. But when he decided, he was down. And apparently, he already had quite the arsenal, and he was willing to use it all on these Koreans. And just like that, it seemed like this story wasn't over just yet. Now, let me take you far away, to land undiscovered by us and the Koreans, into the southwest corner of the map. Uh, is, is your guys' name base in a F-21 here? Is this my back? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm spawning in. Uh, are you in a team already? Yeah, There's traps really. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait. I'm yeah. the uh, traps. I left. It was when they took me down to their main loot room that I realized this hit on the Koreans might actually be possible. 
Yeah, you like that vending machine? Where? Which one? Left of the TC. Oh yeah, that's... I mean, I don't know how many it'll take to go through there, but that's a shit ton of rockets. Oh yeah. This DDB group was fucking loaded. So, we started to prep for the raid. Over the next few hours, I made sure to do my part and try to contribute as much as I can, considering how much these guys were putting on the line. I'm gonna buy Scrappy. Damon, you're gonna take it home with whoever needs to, and then one person can fly back with me in the mini. Since the Koreans were on the complete opposite side of the map, we needed a scrap heli for transportation. After that, we decided to do a run to launch site and see if we can rack up any more C4, a possible M2, or rockets. I see him. Killed one. Killed one. Oh. I killed one. They're oh, just good. at the entrance nice. here. Not much luck at Bradley, but we did get oh. something we wanted. C4. C4. Nice. After that, we farmed up just a little bit more sulfur so we could craft a few more rockets. And then, we headed home and we started to plan for the big raid. We needed to assemble a team. A big team. We all sat down to plan the raid. I would contribute a strong team of six guys, and they would bring eleven. We took the time to draw out a professional layout of their base. We also sent some coyotes to go scout out the turret layout in their compound. Not to mention, it was the first foggy day on the server since Wipe. We would use this to our advantage when setting up our raid base. Everyone finally logged on, we had all geared up, and without further ado, it was finally time. Someone's bringing boxes on this first run, right? Yeah, I got boxes. I got boxes on me. I got the hammer. Uh, what do you need? Uh, Make sure uh, you guys stay close. Uh, close to each other. Hug each other so we can, don't get do pushed out. Do we know out. who's building raid base right off the bat? I'm building raid building. I think Wes, Wes is and someone else is taking yeah, a second trip. I, I got the metal for uh, Dude, I, can go, I, can go get, I should go get some more I'm not rocking. We always, always, be, we always be glitching through the scrap. Are we ready? Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go. Alright boys. Someone should sit fast Yeah, are you coming to us? The raid. No? I wanna have a bunch yeah. of extra meds in their inventory. I do. Are we are we good on fuel on here? How much fuel do we have? We have a lot. Okay, good. We were a part of the first raid group to head over to Y12. We would wait for everyone else behind our old raided rock base. Alright, everyone out, everyone out. Go, 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 go. It was kind of amazing to me to see a group who we had just met come together and form such a massive coordinated plan with us. We waited behind that rock until Team 2 showed up. And when they did, boy did we have a lot of people. Oh, oh my! Everyone place bags. Dude, how are they already? Oh, like, oh, like, oh my! Jesus! <laughs> All right, let's go, boys. All right, are we ready to you start? Get that base, Tom. Hey, okay. hey! Who have walls going move, front? Move, move, walls landing. Front. Hey, he's landing. Don't get switched. Don't get switched. All right. All right. Uh, We're gonna put base down. Uh, like bottom right X11. Okay. All right. Bottom right, excellent. Let's move, let's move. People Bottom right, excellent. Front. I don't have walls. Yeah, I don't It was eerily quiet around the Koreans' compound, but I'd say it was the fog that caused that, because this was no different than any other regular day for the Koreans. They were online, we just hadn't spotted them yet. The only thing was, they had already spotted us. Right here, you got this rock. You got rocks here. You got rocks here. There was no point for us to fight from the rocks far away from their base. We had to push down to the compound. We waited behind some cover and baited some rockets while the rest of our team set up the raid base. Then when we were done, we headed down. Their TC is third floor, by the way, so aim high. Yeah, we're ready to... Blast it. Come to the second floor. 
We need to all get outside right now. Alright, yeah, let's go. Yeah, everyone yeah, push the base. Go. Right now, there was only three defending on the roof. If we took them out, we'd have a small opening of time to push down oh, the compound. Yeah, there's no one no. Down. down, he's down, he's dead, he's dead. I'm pushing down, I'm pushing nice. down. Nice. Really good. Ah, uh, you have smoke? Hey, Pooh, yeah, yeah, I'll look right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're down here. We're down at walls. We're down at walls. Let the TC open. Let the TC up so we can wall. Yeah, we should claim this. We should claim a TC. Claim this TC. Where the? This is a TC. This is a TC right here. This is a TC right here. This is a TC right here. We found the weak spot on their base that would give us access to one of their TCs. So we let them have it. Watch out, Cook. Oh. Smoking. 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 Oh, never mind. Keep going. Keep going. Break the TC now. No. Whoa. 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 Dude, I wasted a rocket. I'm so bad. Once we smoked out their shooting floor, we just let our rocket guys hit him with everything. Watching these Koreans get pummeled was the best thing I had seen all white. He's down, he's down. Nice, 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 nice. Left, 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 left tower, left tower, top of left tower, top of left tower. Yeah. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. There's rockets in here. Rockets here. We're dropping rockets. Yeah. Yeah, I just got him. I hit him three times. I hit him three times. Trying to wall. He's secured. He's secured. I'm Gio. I'm Gio. There's a turret on the right side close. Turret right side close. I see a line of I'm up the I made a small effort to check the loot bag to see what they had, but loot wasn't what I was there for. I was there for names. I'm going up the I'm going to hold 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 the I have more. I I was right, by the way, about the whole berry farm thing. You know what was in their boxes? This raid carried on all the way into the night and then all the way back into the morning. You're running back. He's above you, he's above you. I'm watch out, then. Guy on me, guy on me, with call me, kill him. And whenever I got the chance to catch one of them alive, I made sure they knew who was raiding them. We made sure to pick every body clean, leaving them absolutely nothing. Then I headed back to base to see the loot. It was beyond any amount of loot I had ever seen come from a raid. I mean, it was the items of multiple bases offline raided to these Koreans. It was such a perfect ending to this story. We didn't even need any of the loot. We were getting off after that. But this is what they deserved, and it's what needed to happen. Considering I hadn't even had this planned until earlier today, it even made it so much better. They actually continued to talk shit and chat after that, saying how we offline them and whatnot. But the ultimate shit talk that could have happened during that raid was this. Let's see if we're raided now. Yo, yo, look, look what I put right. in the vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> I did, no, I did. Look what I named it to. DDB. <laughs> From flexing 30 AKs in their vending machine to having one rock, the raid couldn't have gone any better. This is like a oh CML, a CML clan oh photo. God, <laughs> yeah, it's like the CML clan photo. Yeah, this is gross. Alright, say cheese. Flashlights off, flashlights off. Flashlights off. Oh wait, we got one more. Uh, wait, wait. Come out if you haven't. Alright, ready? <laughs> cheese. Cheese. Boy, stand still, stand still for the picture. The right face.